Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be installing one of the last parts that I've got planned for the bike. Uh, again, it's a 2019 KTM 300 XE. Um, today we're installing the P3 carbon uh, pipe guard. This is specific for this pipe. It's a uh, KTM Husqvarna 250 or 300 FMF pipe and it fits the factory fatty version of FMF's line. If you want to order their um, their other pipe, the gnarly pipe, that's a different uh, part number. Part number on this one is P3101067F. So it should be pretty simple. I'm thinking just a couple of hand tools, in fact just a screwdriver. And that's it. Should take about 10 minutes. Let's get started. It's the first thing we're going to unbox it. Comes with two band clamps. <clears throat> Obviously the guard itself, which is really light and very pretty. The other brand of, if you're looking at carbon pipe guards, there's the, the other brand is called an E-Line, like the letter E and then line. That's uh, kind of the main competition for P3. I know Slavens Racing carries them, they also carry these. This was back ordered, I had to wait for a couple weeks to get it, but uh, it's here now. I'm glad I waited instead of getting the E-Line, because I think that it's going to match a lot better than uh, the E-Line. The E-Line was like red and black. This is black and yellow. Kind of goes with the theme. So go ahead and grab my screwdriver and we'll get this put on. Alright, I got my screwdriver. It's a large uh, flathead screwdriver. Um, that's all you need for these two clamps. So you've got two clamps, small and big. Um, you're going to go ahead and take them apart by unthreading this thing all the way. There's one. There's two. So before we go ahead and start putting the clamps uh, into the uh, guard, I want to make sure that it fits. Go ahead and test it here. There we go. Looks pretty good. That's how it's going to sit, just like that. As you can see, we're ready to start installing our clamps. Start with a small clamp, so you can see here there's two holes in the carbon. You're going to want to go ahead and install the small end from the back through. And go ahead and rotate it down. Just like so. We're going to go ahead and get the P3 the same way. You want to have access to the uh, screw head, so you want to make sure that on this one you put it in from the back underneath. Now that we've got the clamps on, we're going to go ahead and test fit it and see how we need to adjust. See, I need to feed this large one so that the screw piece is almost all the way down to the carbon. Now I'm going to go ahead and start screwing this in so I can take up some of the slack. Now when you get the when you get the clamp coming back around, you want to try and feed it through the hole here where the clamp originally went through. It's a little bit tricky. It is tight and hard to get to. All I'm going to do is clearly these clamps are too long. I'm going to go ahead and get some snips and cut them a little bit short. Alright, so I got the front uh, band uh, clamp uh, tightened up and then I cut the extra off. I'm going to do the same thing on the rear. Now 
There we go, guys. Got that P3 carbon guard on. I just had to do a little bit of trimming on the clamps, but overall very easy. Anybody can do it. And I think it's a really good bang for your buck. Looks great, nice and light, strong, and it might save your pipe. Thanks for watching.